Oh, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today I gotta talk about a music resource or tool because it is Friday, people. And the tool that we're gonna talk about today is extremely useful for seeing your progress as an artist, for seeing your fan base and the engagement, and even where certain people who are talking about you on Twitter are located. What tool might that be? I'm talking about Next Big Sound. Now, if you guys don't know what Next Big Sound is, I'ma hop into the back end so you guys can see it as I talk about it. All right, so this is what the homepage of the Next Big Sound website looks like. And as you can see, they say smart and timely insights for the music industry and you can get them insights for the free and i know that's pretty important for a lot of you guys so let's go ahead and hop into the background i've been using this website for a while so check this out i already have ed sheeran's artist profile pulled up and if you look at it you can see they're showing his audience reach the metric trend as far as his audience that means it's growing right now still his audience engagement is moderate and his artist social stage is epic and also if you click on these descriptions you'll actually see what exactly that means so metric trend growing it's saying overall his metrics have been growing blah 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 it'll break it down you guys can play around with that when you decide to use the website for yourself and i'm going to go ahead and show you though up. all right here's a cool thing chart appearances for ed sheeran this stuff happens automatically if you have a pandora profile and um there's some other type of profiles it'll do automatic updates for as well now look at this audience for ed sharon if you look they show a 60 percent female fan base and a 40 percent male fan base now where they're getting this number from twitter mentions Twitter retweets. So basically, it's not your fan base on all platforms as you know it. It won't be necessarily reflective of your fan base super accurately, but at least your fan base in terms of conversation on Twitter. So it says 60% of his Twitter mentions are females, 40% are males, 59% of the retweets are females, 41% are male. And if you go to top countries, United States is where most of his Twitter activity is coming from. And then United Kingdom, that's actually an interesting fact. Uh, you know, well, I guess it makes sense in some ways as well. Now, if you look at the top city, you can see that London is where he's getting a lot of action from in terms of his Twitter mentions. And then Sao Paulo, I mean, is that Sao Paulo, Brazil? I don't know, Sudeste, whatever. Anyway, you can see these top cities. So that's cool for him as an artist. And then if you go down further, You'll see YouTube views is going to show the trends to follow when it, it oh, I don't know what's going on right there. Chill out, bro. All right. So you'll be able to see the actual metric trend of particular YouTube videos that you've released. And what it's going to do, I'll show you with another artist, is basically show the week to week change. Here is more of Ed Sheeran's videos, though. OK, here's the week to week change here. Right. December 15th through December 21st. 49 million views okay and then but the week before that it got 50 million views basically so that's a 2.4 percent decrease in the amount of activity that it had the week before not huge but it doesn't mean he lost followers or lost views it just means it's not growing at the same rate eventually it's going to go down to you know not really getting a lot of views at all because everybody knows when something pops it gets most of the activity mm, all right i'm going to go to another artist because everybody puts in only some of their social information they choose whichever platforms they want to do so let's go to this right here the pandora trendsetters chart right now they're showing Takashi is number one on the Pandora chart as far as getting those trend, those uh, spins. You'll see Lil Xan, Lil Baby, Take K, Her, Daniel Caesar. Let's go ahead and look at Takashi's profile. Takashi, his audience reaches an enormous. He's got an established social stage. It's not it's, an, it's not epic like Ed Sheeran's. His audience engagement is passionate. You know all that similar stuff. Looks like he didn't put in his Twitter account. Instagram followers though, right? You're seeing the Instagram data for him. And you can see that change with the likes and all of those things. And let's try uh, one more artist. Let's just go with Gold Link. There we go, that works. DeAnthony Carlos. Okay, that's Gold Link's real name. No idea. All right, you see he's getting most most of his action in Illinois. Then he's getting action in Texas, yada, yada, yada. DeKalb County, Georgia, Atlanta. Doo, doo, doo. I'm probably scrolling this too fast for you guys. My bad. 
Yeah, let me pull up something right quick though. Let me do a comparison. Who would I compare Gold Link with rapper wise? It actually really doesn't matter. I'm just gonna compare him with Kendrick Lamar though for now. Bam. The platform will do this. So if now if I'm going up and I'm showing all this comparison in the data, let's just say you now see Kendrick Lamar's information versus Gold Link's information. Kendrick Lamar is the second stuff. Uh, Kendrick Lamar is the second bars. What is he getting in these cities? He's getting more action. Of course, he has a bigger fan base, but it's just a comparison tool. You guys can use that as well as you like. Just, just for fun, you can so just for fun you can compare Kendrick Lamar to Go Link, and you can see that Go Link is <clears throat> just for fun. You can care just for fun. You can compare Kendrick Lamar to Go Link, and you can see that pretty much in all cities, Go Link is getting more action than Kendrick Lamar. Except for dang, nobody really fucks with Kendrick in Texas like that. Dang, people don't really f with Kendrick in Texas like that. Okay, that's a fun fact right there. All right, Philly, they not messing with you in Philly either. All right, Kendrick, you got some work to do. DC. Anyway, there's more to the platform, but you guys can go in and get a feel for yourself. And the setup's easy. I'm not going to go through that. But let's just say this. If you want to use this website, once you create a profile, all you have to do is type in your name. So let's just say I typed in an artist name. I don't know. I'll just make up a name. Let's see if there's an artist named Donald Duck. No, there is no artist named Donald Duck. So all I have to do is click add Donald Duck, except that would be your artist name. And then it's basically simple. You start putting in the uh, social links for whatever your pages are. It's very simple to figure it out from there. All right, and as I said, it's free, you guys. So it's almost no reason not to just put your information in. You have that useful information if you ever decide that you want to use it. Other than that, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.